we're back. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of people watch this Attack on Titan, like, reactions, and I've been kind of inconsistent with, well, kind of is an understatement, inconsistent with the uploads. It's just, it's a busy time of the year. I don't know. I make excuses every single time, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Um... I want to make like the stuff interesting, so I kind of do it in times that make sense, where I'm not tired or I'm busy, where I'm not busy, you know, preoccupied with other stuff. So I don't know. I, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I I'm trying. I'm trying. That's what matters, I guess. So at least in the long run, I can look back and be like, yeah, you know what? At least I didn't. I didn't ruin the video by doing it at a time by rushing it, you know. So plus, I mean. The season's been out for how long, so I don't think you guys really cared. Like, it is it is what it is. I remember with Demon Slayer, people were rushing. They'd be like, bro, post it faster. I'm like, maybe because it was more of them that were saying that. But at the same time, I was kind of confused because the season had already been out. But I guess, I don't, I don't know. At least with this one, I'm like, it's kind of relaxed, which is what I thought Demon Slayer was going to be. But it ended up being another direct. It ended up going a different way. And I was like, well, now I feel like I have to rush. But... So I, I kept apologizing. Now I've been taking that to this and apologizing when it's not coming on on time. But it, it, I don't think I need to do that. But if any of you guys have been kind of annoyed about that, I am trying. <laughs> I'm trying. That's all I can say. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I plead the fifth. Like I don't, I don't really know what else to say. I, I'm not gonna say anything else. But yeah, um, last episode, Levi. No. Oh, no, they teamed up. We didn't see Levi. We did. Um, like, we saw him conscious, but uh, he went back unconscious, as far as we could tell. So we, we had, a, we had a, at the, the beginning of the episode, had a flashback where he was conscious, but then, yeah. In present time, we don't know if he's conscious or unconscious or whatever. So, yeah, let's just start out the episode and see for ourselves. So in three... Two one ago. Jeez, jeez, Gene, much of an alcoholic. Yeah. Interesting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's like, get away. All I want is a decent life. Yeah, man. Could be. Could be. But then... It's a worse world, right? You want that? You want your kids to live in a worse world? When you could have made it a better world? Gene's like, yeah, well, kind of too late now. <laughs> He's like, don't care. God damn it. Why did you have to say that? Ugh. <sighs> Cool. I mean, they're not arguing. She's just like, genocide's bad. I don't think I need to say that. Hmm. Friendship. These are, this is, this is, this is a good analysis of the situation. When you say make him stop, how do you plan on making him stop? Without killing him.
That's a good point. It's very short sighted. Yeah. Yeah, but that's such a pathetic way of thinking. No offense. No offense to Hanji, but I just I feel like she is very pathetic here. Like I, I know I know that's pissed so many people off by me saying that, but and genocide is wrong, but it's like your solution is stupid. Cool. Okay. Well, wait until you have that conversation with Aaron and see what you compromise to. I mean, that's literally what Aaron said to her when he was in prison. He was like, do you have a plan? Do you have a plan? I don't think you do, Hanji. All you do is yap the entire time. But I don't see you actually come with a plan that will really work for the long run. That's also true. Like, I don't think anyone should argue that it's doing it because it's right. But you sh come on, <laughs> like, I don't know. Solutions could be brought up better. Something a little more reassuring than just we're sparing time. And I know it's not fair to say because. <laughs> Obviously, she has been thinking about it, but God, that Titan is so disgusting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. To all you Peak fans out there, she is gross. Because they're not monsters. And you guys are bastards. So we wanted to stop you. It just so happens we had our own guy who was also... Finally found him. He's like, I don't think you realize this kid. I'm what you call a racist. <laughs> I see you as a devil no matter what you do. All right. I'll detach myself from actually having any empathy for you. You want to talk history, do you? It's a good question. At what point does history become irrelevant? And what, like, obviously history is relevant. But when does it become irrelevant? You know what I mean? Like, is 2,000 years ago an action there, like, willing, like, appropriate to be putting guilt upon someone else? Or is 100 or 50 years? Like, obviously, 50 years in the past is still decent amount of time. 2,000? You know, it's like, that's why I'm saying, like, eventually some records, they just, I'm like, listen, all you can do is learn from them, but to be accountable for them, that's a whole different thing. 
you got to be mature enough to understand when it becomes kind of unapplicable, if that makes sense. I think that's the best word I can come up with. I'm sorry if I'm talking over all this stuff, but they're literally just giving the context of each other's lives. Like, I, if I'm not going to talk here, I'm not going to be able to talk at any point in the episode. Well, we haven't gone over that part. <laughs> Is there a way? Because the Founding Titan, like... Well, okay. There's also that. Possibly, yeah. If you make yourself seem a little more decent than you are. I mean, that's literally what Gene said. That's what everyone's been saying. Come on, man. Why are you gonna? Oh. Can we not do this? No. Whoa. Can we not do this? Well, <laughs> relax. These two ladies are so hot headed. They've always been hot headed. She's been wanting to get at her ever since she cut her fingers off. Like, Ever since you cut my fingers off that wall and made me fall down to Aaron, I've been wanting to get at you, you bitch. Talking about morals and whatever crap. Really, they just have beef. <laughs> That's it. Just being petty. Petty young women. Petty young men. Petty young people in general. Young people are just petty. Notice how all the older people were like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like, wait a minute. How did you guys get from zero to 100? How old's Aaron? Aaron's 19 or 20 at the moment. It's crazy to think about. 19, 20-year-old about to eradicate the whole world. Ah oh, man, these these tyrants getting younger and younger. <laughs> Probably Marley, right? I mean, where else would he go? I mean, he also went there, though. That's the thing. He went to Marley. So. So wait, is she not? Oh. So she's not even Eldian. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> 
しょうか It is ironic, right? Like, that's what Aaron wanted at the beginning, but he just switched it. He was like, you know what? They saved the world. I don't give a shit. Oh, I was waiting for her to jog my memory. Yep. Well, I mean, we know this already. Is this going to be a recap episode? I swear to God, if this is recap. Guys, I'll cut the episode right here. Are we going to be here at the campsite the entire episode? We better not be. <sighs> Fun. Cool. Great, cool. So she just, okay, you're just shooting guilt at everybody. Nice. You're all murderers. You're all horrible people. Therefore, how am I getting, you know, hit with all the guilt here? None of you are any better than me. All right, you're all pointing fingers at me. You guys suck too. At least they're enjoyable to talk to. You're just a creep. Yelena freaks me the fuck out, I'll tell you what. This is such a tense campfire. <laughs> For what? Oh, they gotta get it off their chest or they're gonna fight together, right? I'm trying to remember, when did we see that scene? We saw it in season two? It was when we it was revealed Raina and Burnthal were the Titan shifters. <sighs> Be honest with him. That's what made that scene so sad, too, is that he was like, You didn't even talk to me. He said, Why are you doing this? You're not even saying anything. And I didn't. They didn't say it. They didn't say shit. They were just scared. They were like, "Holy shit, we actually killed our friend."
Bro, he's already he's already lost. Bro, his head's so broken. Like, Ryan is Ryan Ryan has took it the worst out of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. God damn. Not in the dick. Uh, but his face is caved in. Yeah, he knows that already. Gabby. I don't think he's punching him just for that. Karma. <laughs> it's, this is what we like to call karma. It's not justice. It's karma. Justice is better than karma. But this is karma. You're a kid, Gabby. Relax. Gene doesn't... That's the thing. The Eldians don't see the Marlians as devils. They don't see the other Eldian Marlians as devils. They were never given false propaganda. So they think like, oh, you view us the same way we viewed you. It's like, no, that's the problem. We never did. There was nothing, anything warping our minds. We just didn't... All we had was fear. We just didn't know of what. Now we know it's just people that viewed us as less than human, less than even animal. Just demons. How fucked is that? <laughs> so damn noisy. It's like, would you kids shut the fuck up? <laughs> it's funny because Levi's like, what is he, like 39 or some shit? He's actually really old. Not saying if you're that old, you're really old. I'm just saying in context of the rest of them, like they're all like, I think they're barely 20. So he's almost their, double their age. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> like, I've gone through some shit, okay? At my age, this is like basically dying. That's so convenient. If there's any one person to beat the hell out of, it'd be a Titan shifter. <laughs> Caved your face in, an hour later, it's all back. <laughs> Apologize is just gonna make it dumb. Just gonna, he's, he's already ridding himself with so much guilt as it is, so. What's up? Hmm. Well, shit. Oh, crap. They got the lady. Huh. Well, that's not good. All right, so the episode was literally a campfire to talk about a recap of our feelings. Cool. I think the actual most important parts were Yelena's origin and also technically the most important part was talking about Marco dying and that finally, you know, that getting aired out. I think the scene where we saw it was more important than anything else, but having the cast, actually the scouts, no and everything is important too so yeah yeah so yelling is a hmm she's a marley you know well i mean 
That's what I'm saying, right? Like I said, like the propaganda stuff. But like we yell that too. It's like it's 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 creating it's almost lies. That's what it is. It's the lies themselves that create the monsters. You know what I mean? Like she's lied about who she really is, and the lie of who she is is worse than who she really is. You know what I mean? It's almost like how sometimes, you know, you'll have this really nice actor but they'll portray this really terrifying role, you know? And it's that lie, they're not like that, but the farther you away it is from who you are, the scarier it can kind of be, you know? Because it's like, I don't know, it's almost easier to be something so different from who, you, like, what you really are. So, I mean, like, I don't know. Yeah, there's just something about that. Like, I feel like there's, if you really look into it, I don't want to get too meta with it, but I'm just saying, like, if you really looked into it, like, there is a lot of, like, like anything that in within Attack on Titan that has to do with like the lies kind of turned the people that were associated with those lies or that created those lies into bigger monsters than anything we've seen in the show. You know what I mean? Because like there are literal monsters. The Titans are monsters. But I mean, those are built off like the truth, which is that like... Like the, okay, here's 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 a, here's an example with the Titans. The truth was there were people inside those things, but the lie was they were just monsters, both from both sides. Like we didn't know there was actually people in in their necks, right? So I mean, obviously the Marlins knew, but they they don't view them like any differently. You know, they see people like they see Eldian, they see Titan. They don't see any difference, but um. Like the Eldians on the island in Paradise, like they saw, like you know what I mean. They see it as a monster. They don't see the truth. So when you see the truth, you strip the lies away. It kind of, you know, it creates less of a monster. So I'm wondering. I don't know. Like, it, it, could you could you make something? I'm not trying to write an essay, but I'm just like you can make some kind of argument that's like there's something there. There's something there in like Attack on Titan. I guess that's war in general, right? But like misinformation kind of creates not misinformation but controlled information and everything like that but I don't know that's, that's it's a lot to think about <laughs> it's a lot to think about but yeah I mean they got stuff out uh, off their chest and uh, I, I'll be honest I hope that's the last time we have to do that <laughs> because I, it's it's drawn out it's drawn out a little bit but I mean there's a whole another part to the season so i guess it's fair sure whatever but come on man how many times do we gotta get people talking about the past like i mean i get it already i get it so it's fine it's fine but if i did i, I will say though i will say though it was a good episode um but if i did miss some stuff in context i understand like i said i i, I even said a mid reaction i do talk i do talk over it um sometimes but i do read it i kind of when you watch anime long enough you kind of passively get the context you know what i mean it's like when you're passively reading through an article you're kind of just like okay 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 like you get the general idea and then when there's something that like catches your eye you're like oh the subject matter's changed then you hop back in when they were talking about like their own griefs i was like okay i'm just gonna like because there was something on my mind that i wanted to say so but if i didn't miss something important that might have been underlined there uh, be sure to put it down. But if you did enjoy the reaction, you know, light up the like button, smash the sub, give that by your best, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll leave it off with that. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll try to get the next one kind of sooner in terms of when I'm going to post it. But I'm trying. That's that's what matters. I'm trying. But yeah, I'll leave you guys off with that. Uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, peace, and goodbye.